On est de retour sur Vacarm.net avec Zist de NIP. Hello Zist. Uh, you just won uh, your uh, winner match against uh, against uh, the Gambits. So three maps, a bit long. Uh, was it a tough game for you? Yeah, it was a very tough game, um, especially Cash. I think they they played really good as T. Um, we didn't really know what to expect from their playstyle after they lost Zeus. But I would say they still have the, the calm play style and they just um, throw all the smokes and Molotovs and just, we couldn't do anything as Seaton Cash. It was really, really well played by them and uh, yeah, we're just happy that we won the game and especially that, that we managed, managed to win the overtimes on uh, Cash was really strong from us, I think. Um, did Threat uh, play the role in, uh, in this kind of long game, like uh, during pause, calm you down or something like that? Yeah, I mean, every game threat has a huge impact on our on our game, and uh, he's uh, more like a tactical coach. Um, he comes with advice to me to me what I should call, and especially during during timeouts. And uh, it's good here on Dreamhack. He can talk during the freeze time as well. So if he wants to say something, he's gonna say it, and we're gonna listen. And maybe I'm gonna call it wrong. Uh, so yeah, he's uh, he has a huge impact on our tactical game. Do you think that Valve should um, should uh, copy that kind of uh, coach role uh, for for their for their majors? Yeah, I think so. I mean, every other sport, if you want to compare it to other sports, has coaches that can be vocal during the game, and uh, I don't think that coaches should be able to talk during the round. But like this, during the freeze time and during tactical, is uh, I think it's a good balance, and uh, Yeah, I would like to see Valve implement this in their tournaments, but I don't know. Uh, so for threats, uh, what's the difference between uh, threat today and threat uh, one year ago? I think it's a huge difference one year ago with threat and now. The, um, mainly because last year he was uh, studying a lot, so he was with us like 25 to 50 percent of the time at, at most. Um, so now he's traveling with us all the time and he's making strats when we're practicing and he's watching us practice, he's coming with advice, so so yeah, he, it's a big, big, big difference right now. Um, what made you choose to to change Freeberg for, for Rez? What was the main reasons? Um, I think the biggest reason was that we've been playing the same four guys for a long time and uh, I guess We needed something new, something young, and uh, I mean, I, I still think Freiburg is a really good player and stuff like that, and the best teammate ever. But um, I think we needed to shake, shake things up, basically, and uh, I think Res has been good for us so far. Um, about the major that you didn't go in Krakow, um What was the impact for your team to not go at a major for NIP? It's kind of... Yeah, I mean, we missed the last major before that as well. I mean, it's, a, it's a huge disappointment for us. And I guess that was the main reason why we had to, to change up the roster as well. And um, we can't dwell what happened in the past. And we just have to look forward to other tournaments now. And I would say we're doing a really good job so far on LAN tournaments with the new lineup. We made it to the playoffs in Cologne, but Cloud9 beat us. I think they played really good that tournament. They made it to the finals, and we won Valencia. And now again, we made it to the to the playoffs again. So this time, we just want to go further in the playoffs. So even though we're missing the majors, I still think that tournaments like DreamHack, Malmo Masters, and um, other resale tournaments, and even like Epicenter and stuff like that, there's so many tournaments. I don't think it's all about the majors anymore. Obviously, we want to be there, but missing them in 2017 is not that big of a deal like it was a couple of years ago. So, yeah. So, about this, uh, the difference between the Major and the Dreamhack Master or something. Do you think that Valve need, need to step up their game for the Majors to, for them to really mean something that, uh, for example, have a break two weeks before, two weeks after that, to, to really like participating in the Major? should be the, the main uh, main goal for a team. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot that can be done differently with the majors. Um, obviously, I'm a bit biased, 
right now that we're not we don't have a legend spot or a qualifier spot or anything but i still think that dora is far ahead with their ti i think they invite like six or eight teams per year for every ti that has um, plays good in recent tournaments and then they have qualifiers beside that and right now like you're not gonna have the best teams at the major i would say you can have like a legend team from the last major and then they can play bad for like six months but they still have a major spot so i would see yeah. with, with, with simple it was like a crushing team but when simple lead it was just uh, an average a yeah. yeah i think there's a big difference like there's there's such a big gap between the majors so you're not gonna have the best teams if you keep the legends uh, status spots I think the best option is to invite this, the best six teams, but then you need like a balanced ranking and stuff like that. Uh, there's a lot to be worked on, but I don't know exactly how, but I would like to see it differently. Um, what do you think uh, about Freeberg and his new team in Optic? Uh, what can he do, do there? And what do you think about Optic playing in NA with this lineup? I mean, I think, it's, I think they're a good team. They have good players. Obviously, they haven't played anything yet, so I'm not going to say. Um, I think if, if Freiburg can bring them together as a leader, they're going to be a team to be reckoned with. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see him play again with the, player, the players that he has picked up. I think they have a really strong squad. But, uh, in your opinion about uh, like <laughs> it's basically a European lineup, and why are... What are why are they allowed to play like in EPL in NA? But that's <laughs> not really an NA team. It's an NA org. But do you have an opinion on that? I mean, I think it's it's okay for them to play there because they play. I think seventy five percent of the games they have to play from NA, which they are gonna do. It's the same with SK. They're Brazilians, but they still play in NA. Um, uh, for SK, it's a SA team. <laughs> it's South America, so. I mean, I think the whole debate with like NA, ESL Pro League shouldn't have as many spots as the European. Maybe that's something that they can look into instead. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I don't want to flame NA, but yeah, maybe they're going to get uh, better now if the European teams like Freiburg's team are moving there. You know, the, the region is going to be stronger. Like They're going to have better practices and stuff like that. So I don't know. Final question. Yeah, Dreamhack Masters Malmö 2017 after 16 <laughs> for you. The title for you? Yeah, we were. I mean, we're here to defend it. I think we're playing really good CS. We do some mistakes, but I think we we come back stronger after every mistake, and we keep calm, and that's the most important. And yeah, we're, we're gonna take every game step by step in the playoffs. It's gonna be tough as hell, but we're gonna do our best, and the goal is to win. Thank you, and good luck for the bracket. Yeah, thank you.